שלום, או שבת שלום, good Sabbath, more, more to the point, um, peaceful Sabbath, שבת שלום. I want to just talk to you a little bit about the Sabbath uh, today. There's been a lot of talking about is a Sabbath, the Saturday, is a Sabbath, the Sunday, many people wanting to keep the Sabbath, what does it mean to keep the Sabbath and all that kind of talk around it and, and really the Sabbath and the idea and the commandment of the Sabbath came from the Ten Commandments uh, or in Hebrew, the Ten Sayings that God gave to Moses on, on Mount Sinai when he went there and received it, the two tablets with the Ten Commandments. Uh, behind me you'll see there's a papyrus print that I got in Egypt as a gift um, and on it it says the, the Ten Commandments in Hebrew. And the one that we go and look at, the fourth one, is the whole et Shabbat, Yom Shabbat ke Kadosh Ula Adonai. Uh, remember the seventh day, the Sabbath, as a holy day. The scripture is in Exodus chapter twenty, this is one, um, and especially uh, a chapter uh, verses one to to following, and, and verse eight. It says, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your sons, your daughters, your maid servants, your maidservants, nor your animals, nor your alien within your gate. For in six days the Lord made heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. And the thing for us to know is that few words here. Remember, one is remember, keep it holy, um, and, and also rest. But he rested on the seventh day and the Lord blessed the Sabbath. There's been so many talks, as I said, about whether we should keep the Sabbath or not uh, as, as Christians. Uh, many Christians feel that we shouldn't celebrate a whole lot of Christian holidays, and I'm not going to go into that, but rather is keep the Sabbath. I had a phone call the other day, and, and someone said to me, what are we allowed to eat, and what are we not allowed to eat on the Sabbath? How do we... Uh, you know, when, when people start, when Christians start saying, what are we allowed to, what are we not allowed to, it really gets me all worried because as Christians, as believers in Christ, Christ says, I did not come to abolish the law of the prophets, the Torah and the Nebuchadnezzar, the prophets, but to fulfill them. We as believers in Christ, we are under the spirit of the law, not the law itself. And therefore, it's not I have to or must I or must I not, but rather, what is the spirit within us saying that we should be doing? In Zelling ministry, that we're going to be meeting, our first meeting on the 10th of August, 6.30 for 7, we will be sharing with you guys who are coming, just the joy, as I mentioned in my previous one, the joy of um, serving the Lord, the joy of celebrating the goodness of, of God. We will do it in a, in, in a Shabbat kind of setting. In, in this, uh, we'll have supper together, fellowship together. We'll light the candles together. We'll say blessings together. But it's not going to be a must-do kind of thing. Um, but rather coming together in fellowship with each other. Just like the early disciples in, in, in Acts chapter 2 where they gathered together. Uh, I'll talk about it in some other, some other time. But we must remember that the Sabbath is the seventh day, not the Sunday. To me, rather, the word Shabbat comes from the root word to go on strike. And I would rather celebrate Shabbat realizing that whatever happened in the week before um, that particular Saturday... Um, I will go on strike, I will Shabbat, I will 
no longer accept that terms of the week before. Whatever opportunities I missed, whatever uh, uh, sins I've committed and, and, and have not repented, I will Shabbat, I will rest, I will keep it holy, I will prepare my heart, my spirit, myself for Sunday, the day of the Lord, celebrating the day of the Lord. And rather, um, rather than rest on the Sabbath, preparing myself and striking, Shabbat, striking. And what is a strike? What is to go and strike? You're not happy with the status quo. You down tool and you prepare yourself to negotiate for a better future, which you will go back to work. And to me, Shabbat is striking, resting, not agreeing with the week that has gone past and hoping and praying and preparing myself for a better week, starting on a Friday night in preparation for the Sunday in which I can come together with my fellow men and believers and women in whatever church I am a part of, celebrating the goodness and the joy of the Lord. And so I invite you to, to, to come and join us on a Friday night. As I said, our first meeting is on the 10th of August. Uh, 6 for 7 for more information contact me on um, 082-464-0313 or my email address all that detail is on my Facebook and come and join us and come and learn more today was just a teaser again um, of, of a deeper deeper teaching of Shabbat so Shabbat Shalom may the peace of God be upon you this Friday as you strike down to and you look forward to a better week, inviting the Lord Jesus to be a part of that week. Shabbat Shalom, and I hope to see you soon.